All right, good morning everybody. So it's about 9.30 in the morning. I actually just dropped Chris off to the airport. He leaves for Africa today, so he'll be back in 10 days. Um, so I have the house to myself right now, um, and I thought it was a really good opportunity to show you guys how I make birdie bread for my flock. I made this last week for my birds. I posted the process on my Instagram story, and I had a lot of questions about it. A lot of people wanted me to make a video, so today is the perfect day, and we're gonna go ahead and do that. And Lucky's gonna assist me. Okay, so what I have right now, I have a glass bowl, I have a, um, a cookie sheet, and this is Teflon free. Remember, you're not supposed to use anything non-stick or coated in Teflon, it is toxic to birds. Then I have some organic, um, it's baby food, so I have peach, banana, quinoa, raisin, and we have Kramer's birdie bread. And I also just wanted to show you guys what I feed my birds as a staple. So it's the Topps Parrot Food, which is, from my research, the best on the market. Uh, and I'll get into that a little bit later about why we shouldn't be feeding seeds um, and nut diets and why the, these pellets are, are good. But right now we're gonna focus on the Kramer's Birdie Bread. And I got this from um, Topps Parrot Food. And if you guys aren't following Parrots Are Us already on Instagram, definitely follow her. Lou is amazing. She's helped me so much with my birds. She has two hyacinths, an African gray, um, a macaw, and also a two can and she's just like a bird expert so definitely follow her now it's really simple all the instructions are on the back um, it also tells you what you need so you need two cups of the birdie bread mix one tablespoon of aluminum free baking power one large egg and then one one fourth cups of applesauce or few bread so first we're gonna preheat the oven to 350 I'm sure Lucky's gonna be screaming the entire time because that's what he does um, so I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. I'm gonna do the best that I can. So just bear with me. So let's just take a look at all the ingredients. There's alfalfa, there's millet, barley, rice, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, quinoa, pumpkin. So all of this is natural. There's no fillers. So uh, this stuff is seriously the best stuff on the market and that's why I decided to switch my birds from a seed diet to this um, pellet diet. And it's USDA approved as well, so really, really awesome. So I just added my two cups of Kramer's Birdie Bread. I have my large egg here, which I'm gonna be in a second. Uh, it's from our chickens. And I also am going to add an eggshell for extra calcium, so I'm gonna put that in there. We're gonna crush that up. There, You can't go wrong with extra calcium, especially for your female birds. So now I'm adding my one tablespoon of aluminum-free baking powder. And then I'm gonna mix all the dry ingredients and then I'm gonna mix the wet ingredients separately. So the baby food um, with the egg. Okay, so now we have the egg and the baby food. I mixed two different kinds of baby food. And you can make this bread how wet or however dry you want it. Um, I've, only make it I've only made it one time. This is only my second time making it. But I think I made mine a little bit uh, wetter so there's a lot of moisture in it and my birds really seem to like that. So I'm probably gonna do the same. Now, if your bird really likes something like almonds or like um, for the smaller birds, millet or some kind of fruit or vegetable, you can try to sneak that in here as well. It's really whatever you want to add. You can kind of make it your own and do your own thing. So now we're gonna add, add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and we're gonna mix that up, which is really, really gonna be hard to do with one hand. So as I was making the birdie bread, I noticed that it was a little bit drier than I wanted it. So I just added a little bit more of the organic um, baby food. So like I said before, if it's too dry, you can add a little bit more um, liquid in it to make it have more moisture. Or the same thing, if it's too wet, you can add more birdie bread or more um, material, I guess that will soak up the, um, the moisture. So we already have a thief. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even done yet and he's stealing it. And Lucky is a very, very picky eater. Um, when we first adopted him from the rescue, he was eating strictly sunflower seeds and he was overweight. So it's been a little bit of a challenge to get him onto a healthier diet. But as you guys can see, he loves the birdie bread. So I, I just highly recommend this. So what I am going to do that I didn't do last time, I'm going to add some almonds. Uh, my rescue to Collectus Elmo really, really likes almonds. So I'm just gonna add some of that in there and stir it up. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, grease the pan and get that in the oven. 
Okay, so this is all mixed up. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna take our pan, which again is Teflon free, and we're gonna just coat it with organic coconut oil. You can also use palm oil, obviously, though, as like an environmentalist, I don't wanna use palm oil, because that leads to a lot of like deforestation. So organic coconut oil works perfectly, and you can also add a little bit of coconut oil into the birdie bread as well if you wanted to. Um, I'm not going to do that today since I added a lot of other different kinds of fruits. Uh, but maybe next time. Now I'm gonna use a cookie pan. What I did last time really worked for me, but you can also use like a muffin tray, um, or you can use like, um, I guess like a, a cookie sheet and make it all like one big cake. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna separate this into like little balls, like two inch balls, like maybe a little bit bigger than that. And I'm gonna do this individually, uh, like kind of like cookies. And this worked really, really well for me. Perfect. So now we have all of our little birdie bread cookies with all the almonds in there. They're going to be so excited. Um, and this is about half the bag. This is two cups. I made another two cups last week. So how many are there here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, I guess. Um, cookies. So I guess an entire bag makes 24 cookies. And this lasts me about a week. You can either give this as a treat or as a staple um, in their diet. Um, I'd like to offer this every day as well as the seeds to get them to, um, to encourage them to eat this because they've been pretty picky about switching to pellets. But like I said, it's much healthier than the, the nut diet and the seed diet. So we're definitely gonna get them switched over. Um, so this definitely helps them. So we're just gonna pop this into the oven for 15 minutes or until they are firm. So let's set that 15 minutes. And we're gonna wait for that and I will see you guys in 15 minutes. Okay, so the timer just went off. We're gonna see if this birdie bread is ready. Let's see. Yeah, there we go, perfect. So I'm just gonna wait for this to cool probably about 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna offer it to the birds, and that is it, we're done. It's so simple, uh, so healthy, and the birds love it. Are you excited? Yeah. Is it yummy? You're making a mess. You're making a mess. <laughs> So we haven't done a YouTube video on this guy yet. Um, this is Elmo. He is our rescued Eclectus parrot we adopted in December from a facility that really wasn't giving him the best care. So if you guys look at his chest, he's a plucker. He has some really serious plucking issues. Uh, so we're hoping that by changing his diet, that also helps him. Uh, and he is very picky as well, but he really does enjoy the birdie bread and the, um, the food. Now, what I learned recently by watching a lot of videos actually from Bird Tricks and talking to Parrots R Us is that the seed and nut diet is probably one of the unhealthiest or the unhealthiest diet for birds. And then um, I kind of knew that, so I was feeding them this like fruit-based diet. The, it kind of looks like fruity pebbles um, or like trick cereal, and that's actually like one of the second worsts. So, I changed their diet to the pellets. I started making them birdie bread and I also started making them veggie chop. And if you guys want, we can do a video on that as well. But uh, birds really need to have a healthy diet. It's very, very important for them to have fresh, fresh vegetables daily. Um, and I heard that fruits really aren't the best for them because there's a lot of sugar. So those should be used very, very sparingly. But I've been learning so much about birds and I just really want my birds to have the best care, especially rescues like Elmo, he really needs it. So what I learned, I'm more than willing to share with you guys. If you guys have any questions or if you have any advice for me, I'd be more than happy to hear that as well. And let me know if you guys wanna learn more about Elmo because he's a really awesome guy. He's really shy. He's already come such a long way. I still can't touch him yet, um, but we're working on it. So if you guys wanna see progress videos as well, just let me know. So that is today's video. Um, let me know if you guys decide to make birdie bread. I definitely hope you tried. I'll link everything down below. Um, and there's also instructions online on Topps Paired Food, how to get your birds off of seed and onto this pellet diet. And we'll see you guys next time, right? Say bye.